This is the button. What do you do for fun? Oh, I play Roblox for fun. He doesn't go to school on time. She has unhealthy setting habits. Like Gabe doesn't watch the Mills broadcast. Hello Vikings and welcome back to another broadcast. How did you feel about that intro? I thought it was amazing. Me too. Anyways, happy February. And happy Black History Month. Well, Carter G. Woodson was, he's the one who created Black History Month. Black History Month is just a testament to all the great things that African Americans have done in this nation. African Americans inspired country music, folk music. Oh, Medina didn't it. Oh, my Lord, how the rain. Uh, hip hop, rock and roll. There are so many influences that African Americans have spread throughout their culture and testimony of strength and resilience continues to inspire people. I had the pleasure of going to Washington DC and watching the play A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry at uh, Ford Theater. As y'all know, Ford Theater was the theater where President Lincoln was assassinated. The play... Hey! Allow my two, wasn't it? when he wanted me to go in the dry cleaning business with him. Now he's grossing a hundred thousand. To represent modern black issues, especially economic issues of opportunity, with the spirit of Lincoln off in the corner, that was absolutely significant for me. One African-American figure who has been influential in my life has been Alvin Ailey. And, or he was an African-American choreographer, dancer, and he studied ballet, he studied contemporary dance. When I was in high school, I watched a video on YouTube of his work, Revelations, about the um, Negro experience in America, and it was really awe-inspiring. All uh, ethnic groups, um, America is an amalgamation of all of our contributions and our differences, creating an identity that involves all of us, so that everyone's story ends up being part of your individual story. Uh, but the truth is, especially the calling for me as a history teacher is, but his history is not just a month, um, that it gets infused into our coverage of all of history, again, in to all of our stories, but I appreciate Black History Month. Every day is a day for Black History. Speaking of history, did you know that our Mill Student Equity Council is making history by making a mural at our school? Wow. Let's go check it out. The SEC is a student-led organization that works to bring justice among our peers at school. We have two committees, one for the mural that will be on this wall in the lobby of the theater. Currently, we do have a finalized sketch. We are starting the painting process. If you guys want to volunteer for painting, uh, we do need a lot of help on that. You should come every single Wednesday Flex in Mr. Matt's mural room or Mr. Christensen. The message of the mural is that Mills is a community in which everyone can be involved and that you should never be afraid of speaking up or saying what you think about the campus and ways in which we can improve. Wow, what a wonderful thing that our very own Mills Students community is doing for our community. This will be our first meal for our community, so let's give it up for our Vikings community. Community! Now let's go check out the community down at the Lunar New Year Festival. This year is the year of the dragon. The red and gold colors of the dragon symbolize good luck and also fortune. The reason why the dragon is so special is because it's the only mythical creature in the zodiac. As a volunteer, we can help clean up the streets and just clean up everywhere in general along the festival. It's always traditional to clean your house before the New Year. This is a time where we, you know, everybody comes back home from work, and there's a big family reunion. The fireworks, the events we do, the dragon dance, lion dance, it's a very big part of that as well. So for me and my family, uh, Lunar New Year is a time for us to get together. And my family is from China and a lot of us have immigrated to California. So it's the time of year we actually get to see each other and watch children grow, watch people get old. And it's a time to see how the family is and how we've changed. Wow, that was great. Xinyan Kwai Le. Hey, Nico. What? Did you get into Yale? <laughs> no. Well, that's okay, because our counselors here at Mills are here to help. So I think there's a myth that exists that students need to attend like a highly prestigious college in order to be successful in life. Um, and I think the reality is that there's actually a lot of different paths to success. 
I would just like to add that we all have our different journeys and our different successes and uh, experiences on, on how we get to where we get, and there is no wrong decision. I think what's more important is to really build your own circumstances, right? Are you joining clubs? Are you taking the classes that you wanna take? Just trying to think of it as a different way. Like, okay, well that door closed, but there's a lot of more doors that are open um, that I will be able to build on my potential. No matter what school you end up at, whether it be a CSU, a UC, a private, a community college, that you'll get to that goal and you'll still find success. Well, that's it for this month's broadcast. See you guys next month.